in this video i explain operating biodirectional motors using 4 by 3 dcv so it is the circuit design means it is used for hydraulic systems as well as for the pneumatic systems so first they have a different three position here you see this image first position mid positions and the second positions so i explain these all the positions by using the animation as well as the directional control wall in animation so you can easily understand and clear your concept so first we understand this diagram okay this is the basic for hydraulic system oil reservoir pump suction pipe delivery pipe pump is run by motors this is the return line and filters okay now so first we understand what is the 4 by 3 dcv means that is a three position is possible one is extend second one is stop and the third one is for the retract okay for that we need to change the oil supplied it to the biodirectional motor biodirectional motor means the motor is rotated in a two directions means clockwise as well as the anti clockwise directions so here you see the symbol of the biodirectional motor first you need to draw the circles then draw the two triangles so here you see the apex is near to the centers okay it is for the motor now for the pump you see the apex is touch with the periphery of the circle so this is the difference between symbol of pump and the motors so suppose this is the unidirectional motor then we only need two one triangles but here the biodirectional bio means two so it is rotated in two direction that means we need to draw the two triangles and these triangles is connected with the directional control valve so we need to draw the pipe connection okay this is the one end and this is the second side now here we draw the one square means for the first positions so here you see this is the pot p this pot a and oil is flow from p to a during same time the oil is flow from b to t this b pot and t pot so arrow is drawn in the downward direction here the oil is flow in upper direction from p to a that's why the arrow is drawn in a upper directions now here you see the second position in second position again the four pots this four pot is total in a one position four pot is provided this p pot this is the t pots okay and p and t are connected means it is called as the tandem center mid positions and a and b pot are close now this is the second position means this first mid and the second position in second position p pot p pot is connected with b, b pot so line is drawing incline and arrow is in upper directions this is the a pot and this is the t pots so here you see the green color line is drawn in downward means oil is flow from a to t and it is operated manually that's why here we draw the symbol of lever so i hope you understand the basic of biodirectional and 4 by 3 the figure show a hydraulic circuit to operate biodirectional motors using a tandem center 4 by 3 dc that is a different mid position is possible okay this mid position is called as the tandem center mid position okay if you want to know what detail about all type of the mid positions then i request to watch the video of symbol for the different type of the valves and the mid positions if you want to watch this video then go to playlist and the ohp chapter 1 introductions and also the link is provided in a card of your mobile or a laptop from the i symbol you watch this video now in first positions first position means this diagram is for the first, uh, first positions for mid position and second positions i show you with this animations how it is connected with the motor and the hydraulic systems okay now during the first position you see the p pot is connected with a pot and this b pot is connected with the t pots so the same thing is written oil flow from p to a and b to t hence the motor runs in a clockwise direction okay so pressurized oil come from the pump is enter in a p pot p to a then it is enter on the left side so high pressure we draw the red color okay so this enter on this left side so oil is strike on the vents of the motor and the motor is rotated clockwise and oil is back from the second sides it is come in a b pot from the bt and it is go to the oil reservoir through the filter so this is the first positions now before moving it i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to ohp and under subject of the mechanical engineering under subject means refrigeration air conditioning ic engines fluid power engineering elements of mechanical engineering engineering thermodynamics for the ohp the various link is provided in the descriptions and if the link is not available in description and the card then visit the playlist 
Now here you see the positions of the directional control valve is changed. How this position of directional control valve is changed by operating the directional control valve. So directional control valve is operated by number of a manual, foot valve, solenoid types, pilot types. That is a number of option is possible. So we move this directional control valve. So here you see in a second position, P port is connected with B, A port is connected with the T. Okay. So here we return something that is in second position, 4 by 3 DCV oil flow from P to B and A to T. So here you see port P is connected with B, A is connected with the T. Okay. Hence the motor runs in anti-clockwise direction. Now how the motor is run anti-clockwise? The pressurized oil coming from the pump is coming P port. Then it is supplied in a B port. From the B port here you see this red color line is changed. Okay. In earlier side we draw the red color this side. So pressurized oil is flow to this right side of the directional control valve. Sorry. Right side of the biodirectional motor. So this oil is strike on the van of the motors and the design of the van is such a type that suppose we supply the oil from this side then it is rotated on the anti-clockwise direction. So this oil supply we need to some output of the oil. So here oil is come from this side left side on a one side and they enter on a port from the a port is going a t port and from the t port it is supplied it to the oil reservoir through the filters okay now second one is the mid position here you see the diagram is changed okay this is the earlier this second position now it's for the mid positions now here you see the a and b pipe connection is changed and it's come the blue color so, okay why it is blue color i explain you right now now this mid position is called as the tandem center mid position of the 4 by 3 directional control valve. Here you see the port A and B are closed. So port A and B. Okay, suppose here we use the cylinder, then A and B are called as the cylinder ports. But in this case we use the biodirectional motor means A and B port for the motors. Okay, they are closed. Here you see inverse T type symbol is run. This indicate the A and B ports are the close. And Port P is connected to the port T. So here you see the pressurized oil come from the pump is come in a P port. And here you see that is a pipe connection is provided in directional control valve. And this P port is connected with the T port. So pressurized oil come from the pump is entering P port, then come in a T port. And this pressurized oil is again supplied it to the oil reservoirs through the filters. Therefore, oil from the circuit flow back to the reservoir tank. So this prevents the continuous flow of high pressure oil to the reservoirs through the small passage of pressure relief oil and does avoid the overheating of the oil. I mean suppose we are not provide this position. So we have also possibility to use the close position, close mid position means in a close mid position all the pots are closed. Okay. So what happens? Suppose we close the P pot then pressurized oil is enters into its pressure relief oil. So in a pressure relief oil that is a very narrow space is there. So oil is start to overheating. Okay. But in that case what happened? The oil is directly entering T pot and then supplied to reserve oil. So no heating of the oil is done. That's why this tandem position is used to avoid the overheating in a close mid positions. So thank you for watching this video. If you learned then like the video, subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friend.